A transaction is the basic unit of execution of a user program in a database management system. A transaction is a list of reads and writes to a database. For example, making an online airline ticket reservation results in a transaction with the database of the airline reservation service that holds airline reservation data. A relational database management system must ensure four important properties for each transaction. A transaction should be atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. These four properties are usually referred to as asset properties of a transaction. Atomic means that it either should execute completely or stop completely without any effect on the database. Consistent refers to the integrity and consistency of the database that should be maintained by each transaction. Isolated means that each transaction should be executed as if there is no other transaction executing at the same time, even if there are many of them happening concurrently. And a transaction should be durable. This means that once a transaction is committed, its effects after the completion should remain in the database. Asset properties have been subject of many historic and current conversations. For example, NoSQL databases relax asset properties by favoring eventual consistency in order to gain higher availability and performance. On the other hand, NewSQL reintroduces asset compliance to NoSQL-style database management systems. In a database management system, we face two big problems. The first challenge is supporting multiple transactions at the same time. This might become a problem in databases with large number of concurrent transactions. As an easy example, suppose we are maintaining the database for an airline reservation system. We do not want to end up double booking a seat to two users only because their transactions were happening at the same time and both started when the seat was available. So we have to make sure we effectively handle supporting concurrent transactions. The second challenge is making sure the data stored is reliable. Whether a crash, a temporary loss of electricity, or failure of a system happens, we want to ensure our database holds a record once it is committed. Note that these two problems arise from the challenge in maintaining asset properties. In a database management system, our first problem is addressed by concurrency control mechanisms. And the second problem is addressed by database recovery solutions. Concurrency control mechanisms ensure maintaining consistency and isolation properties. Database recovery mechanisms ensure maintaining atomicity and durability.